Why does it want me to do that? <laughs> Hi everyone. I don't know why this stupid thing wants me to rotate sideways. Am I sideways? I don't know what to do less with this. I hate it. How about if I do it like this? Let me know what's going on or else we'll try again later. <laughs> This is so crazy. Well, ever since they updated, I don't know what, it makes you go this way. Like on the side. Is that the way it's looking? <laughs> I hate this. I had the same trouble last time. I don't understand it. I just don't. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to try again later. I really will have to try. Look at this. See? It's still in its sideways. Vertical. What is that? Whenever you want to go live, that's what's happening. It's starting to get on my nerves. Hi, Sanja. Hey, Vanessa. It's the narrow screen. I know. Why does it do that? I'm trying to turn it. And I've been trying to turn it all this time. And if I turn it, what happens? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Look at that. It's insane. Ugh, it's so annoying. I don't know why it does that. And it's not my phone. It, it literally says for me to rotate it. And it won't do it unless I keep it like this. So, I guess we'll do this real quick. Hi, Marzena. How are you? Marjana. Marjana. Beautiful Marjana. How are you? I like saying your name right. All right. We're going to do a tiny little jar for a tiny little screen. How's that? And we're going to do it real fast. Really, really fast because it's tiny. And I don't know what's in it. And YouTube, it hates me right now. It absolutely hates me. I don't want to do lives anymore because of this mess. It's driving me crazy. Let me know if you have any advice for me about it. There it goes. Tiny little jar. I don't even know what's in it. The last time I opened one of these, I found a dynamite piece. I didn't even want to show it to y'all because y'all would have been like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Can't believe you found that. <gasps> oh, that's so cute and heavy. I love it. Thank you, everyone who's here. Excuse the vertical thing. I guess you could watch it on your phone pretty well. I don't know. I don't know. But it's what YouTube forced me to do. It didn't want to cooperate today. Uh, Aqua Lover, how are you? Vanessa, I hope you're doing well. Is it cold over there yet? Let me show you my rings of the day because some people like to know. This one did come out of a jar. It is a designer called, um, oh my gosh, I can't remember my French. It's French for 69. Set Neuf, I believe. Or Set Neuf. Anyway, so that's the, um, the designer name. I did post it in my community tab because there was two pieces from this fabulous designer. Those are Labradorite and this is Sterling with a gold overlay. This is a uh, Freidensburg, uh, I forget, some Swedish designer, kind of a turquoise color. And then my typical little wraparound rings. All right. Hi, Priscilla. How are you? How are your students having a good school year? Priscilla, you would ask me that. And uh, if I was, I better wait before I answer. <laughs> I need to have a heart to heart. Thank you, everyone who's here, though. We usually do jewelry here. I uh, definitely like to do jewelry jars. So I'm glad you're here to watch a little one that we found. Oh, wow. Look at this ring. This is cute. Because I'm telling you, I am in mourning right now. I lost one of my paras. She is leaving me. She has to go take care of her mother in another country. And we had the most amazing dream team with her and my other para. And we are totally, I'm totally devastated. I really am. Not to mention the fact that I have 17 children in an SLL classroom. High maintenance children. Three of which are what they call elopers. So just keep me in your prayers, thoughts, whatever creed put me in there because i need it i love this i absolutely love this yeah i'm seriously thinking of doing uh some kind of a, some kind of a career switch i just i feel like i don't have any i mean everybody says that but now i really feel it <laughs> i told you it was going to be a chatty video 
Uh, I really feel like admin does not does not care. Just, you know, they close the door and they just let us deal with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. They just let us deal with it. And uh, we are honestly unbelievable. We're already short staffed with two paras and a teacher. I, we either need to open another classroom or get another para. Other than that, I love my kids. You know, I do. I do what I can. Uh, I sit there and try to, and pray, honestly pray, that I wish I had more time to actually teach. Because <laughs> I'm mostly putting out fires and filling out paper. Oh, I don't know what this is, but it's so cute. Is that a, I think it's a, it might hold your, your specs. It might be one of those that holds your uh, glasses. And it looks like it has initials. But I do appreciate you asking about it. Oh, it's unbelievable, Marjana. It's unbelievable. Uh-huh. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that these some of these children, one of them in particular, is an absolute um, danger to himself. He's, he, he spends the entire day trying to crawl inside my appliances. Because, we you know, we do life skills. So we teach laundry and, and cooking, and we can't do any of that. So, yeah, I'm just sitting here griping. Uh, but um, I've never seriously, I've been offered many positions in admin as far as policy and, you know, all that other stuff, the specialists that come around and tell you what you're doing wrong. <laughs> and I'm seriously considering taking one of those jobs because I honestly don't get to teach the children that I want to teach. <gasps> Not, I mean, I want to teach them all, but I don't have the time because the ones that are very high maintenance need one-on-one, -on -one, very small structure. You know, they need three children in a classroom, maybe six max. They're very high maintenance, and there's no way I can teach them what they need to know, with, you know, about ABA and therapy and, and try to get him to, to try to get them to, to learn some ABA skills, applied behavioral analysis type. And then teach the other one, you know, math and, and algebra. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thank you, Marjana. It's it's unreal. This is an interesting pin, y'all. I don't know what it is. It looks like glass. And this one was an agate, which I really like. I love these. And, uh, I, again, I don't know what this is, but I, I think it's... It's to hold specs. All right, let's get through this because Robert went to get me some chicken nuggets. And I'm going to eat them when he gets here. Oh, that's precious. I love this. One of my students is a total Disney fanatic. She dreams of working at Disney, and her mom is arranging it for her. And I totally am so excited about it for her. Yes. Okay, here's a prayer strand, I believe. It says something about lives there. I don't know. This is interesting. It looks like that um, uh, copal, I think it's called, that copal amber or something. Could just be some kind of, maybe even Bakelite, but it's beautiful. Have you ever seen that? Again, I'm sorry that the video came out vertical. This is insane. Uh, this is one of the reasons I don't do lives anymore because they really changed the app now that they added shorts. And I don't know, I guess, even the last time when I did... Um, when I scheduled it, it still gave me this problem. So I don't know. Oh, look at this. That's pretty. It's a little rose ring. It's adjustable. I'm sure it's just a little costume piece. It's so pretty. I used to know these girls. Boy, I can get chatty. I used to know these girls. I went to Catholic school for 12 years, 10 years. And uh, they were Marla and Carla, and they had matching rose rings. Marla and Carla, if you're out there, I always wanted one of those rings. Never got it. Yeah. This is interesting. I don't know if it's sterling. It's awfully dark. I think it is. I should look in the little loop. I don't know where it is right now. I'm trying to Let me look. Look how black it is. Let me see. It looks it's either rusted or patina. No, I don't see anything on it. Boy. That's interesting. Look at this. Is that not beautiful? This is one of the reasons I bid on this. Oh, it's one of those Russian things. 
the lacquered ones. Have you ever seen anything like this one? I never have seen one like this. Not in a pendant, first of all. They're always brooches. And this is a beautiful color. I would love to put an attachment on there. One of those ones that are like um, enhancers. And then you can put it on some amber beads. What do you think, Marjena? Amber beads, right? Oh, that'd be fantastic. By the way, be sure you, you subscribe over here to Marjena at Sunshine. She has great jewelry, and she just came back from Poland with an amazing array. I've been watching, Marjena. I just have to keep my hands tied behind my back because I can't spend. But, yeah, I've been watching those videos. Great, great video sales. This is pretty. This is, I believe, lucite, but look how it looks like rose quartz. No, it is rose quartz. It is It is rocky. It feels like lucite, but I banged it against the glass, and it's glass or stone. Pretty, right? That's huge, too. So these are huge. Look at that. Crazy crazy pretty uh oh oh my goodness we've got some this is bone i was thinking it was the other organic i showed you guys i don't know if you saw my last video that sometimes the ones we think are ivory are not this is not it's actually got a seam but it looks just like the vintage 70s i was gonna bring it up to my auction today i'm having an auction uh in about an hour and a half i think over on facebook so if anybody's interested that information is always in the description box. Wow. Very cool. I can't tell what the design is other than kind of florals. I almost I almost feel like this looks like some teeth. Like one of those foo dogs or something, whatever they're called. All right, then we have a little tiny little crystal heart. How pretty is that? That's very nice. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up, if you would. I appreciate you if you can do that. And this is from, I don't know, SeaWorld. Looks like Shamu. A little pin in there. This is a nice, heavy little pendant. Very interesting. Almost looks like a fleur-de-lis or something. What do you think? It's solid, too. Very nice. Look at this. It's a thimble. And it's cloisonne. That's awesome. That is a pretty piece. That's probably sterling too. No, it looks like copper. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. Is that a peacock? I think I see a peacock there. Or something. Maybe just florals. That is very, very nice. Oh, look at this ring. Wow. Not a bad little jar. I think I paid 25 for it. How pretty is that? It looks like just costume. But I, I've been lucky before. I've been lucky before with people who say, oh, it's just costume, and then I get it, and it's uh, gold. All right, this is marked. Darn it, I can't see what it says, though, even with the magnifier. Can you guys see it? Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Even these little cost. Whoa, I keep moving the phone, sorry. Even these little costume pieces can sometimes be $25, $40, 25 to 40 dollars at department stores hey it matches the rings i'm wearing doesn't it Ooh, do we have a match to this earring or is it single that is pretty it might be a single though oh my gosh it looks like um oh i can't remember the name of that stone now mm. Not Spectralite, not Labradorite. Oh, I can't remember, but I had that huge ring. Remember the one that belonged to um, to Makeup Zombie? And I bought it from her, and I sold it, and it's, it's gorgeous. I forgot the name of the stone. And originally, Doug was the one who sold it. <laughs> it's 
you can go back and watch all the other videos. Ooh, this is a pretty pendant. That is, uh, wow, that's an interesting face. Looks like me when I get out of work. Um, I think it's uh, Jasper. I think it's Jasper. That's awesome. Oh, what is the name of that stone? I can't remember. It's that beautiful stone, and it has that chatoyancy, uh, glowy effect like Labradorite does. This is a pretty little but Oh, here it goes on the back. It's prettier on this side. Look at that. If you're enjoying the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please forgive the vertical the vertical view here, but uh, YouTube was in a mood today. This is very nice. I thought I had my display handy, but I don't. Can you see it there? It's little dangles. Little bezel set. This is a fantastic little jar. And it almost looks like it's... Oh, it's Leah Sophia. I was thinking... Uh, Joan Rivers. It kind of looked like a Joan Rivers sign. I mean, a swing tag. This is beautiful. And Leah Sophia does beautiful jewelry. They really, really do. I used to go to their home parties and wish I had more money because they were very expensive. A little acrylic band. Some more little pendants. What do you think about this jar for $25? Not bad, right? Look at this. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen these little Pandora-style beads in a necklace. Have you? Very pretty. Looks like 80 people are here. Thank you for joining me live. I was hoping to start doing live videos like every Saturday early, like three. But with this trouble of the vertical thing, oh my gosh, it just really is very dis heartening this is another little agate this is beautiful too wow you can almost see through that looks like a it looks like a picture of from the hubble station or something doesn't it looking down at on, on earth i love it it's, it really does have that brown and blue hue of our beautiful planet look at that I love that. Okay, then we have a pearl shell. That's very nice. We have a, a well, a glass pendant, but very different kind of a leaf design. This looks like a sterling heart on some kind of a rock crystal or quartz. Then we have these little cage pearls. These are usually genuine pearls. These were done also. They were very popular in videos here on YouTube a few years ago. Okay, I'll be right there. I'm live. And um, they were, people would open the oysters live on the air. And then they'd, you know, they'd sell you these. And these were usually sterling. So very nice. And it's kind of a creamy color. All right, then we have another necklace. Oh no, this is a bracelet. Looks like it says Avon. Very nice. Wondering if you know anything about Sarah Coventry and is it worth any? Oh, well, that's a pretty broad question. I'll tell you what though, I could recommend Sally. Oh, what is her channel name? Is it Treasured Vintage? She has, she did a video on Sarah Coventry. I think it was like a three-part series. series. So if you Google that, she'll probably pop out or put it right here on YouTube search. But there are some very collectible Sarah Coventry pieces. There are Facebook groups. So I would definitely do a little research on that. But I know Sally does, um, did a few videos and she had the book, and she really got into the extensive part of it. I'm not that schooled in it. Oh, this is sterling. But I know I love it. Many of Sarah's pieces are amazing. She also did some wonderful things with the dragon's breath and the opalite type of jewelry. So 
like anything, it depends. You know, a lot of people say Monet is money, but it's not always money if it's just uh, mediocrity, right? This is gorgeous. This looks like an old Mexican piece, but I'm not sure if it is. But it reminds me the color. It might be glass, might be peridot. Not sure. Sweet, though, isn't it? And that's my grandson's first stone. Here's another little teeny thing. These little crystals are so cute. I would love to put these on a charm bracelet. There were about three of them, including a heart. And, but thanks for asking a question. By the way, I do want to come out on Saturdays. I'm thinking of doing it kind of a, like I said, a chatty type of thing. And maybe opening it up to Q&A. That would be fun again, wouldn't it? Look at this. This is beautiful. I don't uh I don't proclaim to know everything, but I know a lot about a lot. <laughs> and moreover, my subscribers, my viewers know much more than I do, and I'm sure we can all help each other. This is heavy, heavy, heavy. Beautiful. Broken though. It's missing the it's missing the little hook. It's not a big deal though still has the little ring so I can easily add a clasp it's missing the clasp all right these earrings match I'm so disappointed not having that other blue one these are pretty the little shells I do get a sterling piece in here and this looks like sterling too and this looks like a oh my oh it's the mushrooms yes that's another reason I like this she showed this and this is sterling. It's a vintage bracelet, necklace rather. And isn't that cute? It looks kind of like a modernist take on the, on the mushroom. It doesn't look, right? It looks like a mushroom you'd see in another planet. A little Star Wars planet or something. Don't you think? Oh my gosh, I love it. That is so cute. Yeah, Robertson, you know Roberts, he's, a, he's waiting for me we're gonna have i hope he didn't buy something for him to eat because he just ate <laughs> he went out to eat with his friends and then i said i think i want to eat before my auction go get me some nuggets he probably brought himself dessert this is a little bead it's so pretty it's got rhinestones all around it and i guess there's a few of them look here's some more This, um, not sure if it's sterling, could be. Needs a bale, though. And then this one is, and now this looks like a faux ivory. <laughs> it looks like they added the Schrager lines to make it look like it was ivory. I'm going to have to take the, the loop to that, because that looks a little bit too blatant, don't you think? I don't know. And this could be celluloid, I believe. Oh, that is so pretty. That's a little vintage brooch. Yeah, this is either bone or celluloid. It doesn't feel like ivory. I think it's an Asian motif. Doesn't that look like an Asian motif? And then I think we had another, we had two of these. I will, Vanessa says hello. I think he stepped out. He always likes to feed the animals before we eat. He says that animals should eat before we do. I don't know. So that's probably what he's doing. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for joining me. I so appreciate it. Hopefully you'll join me on Facebook for my auction in about uh, 40 minutes or so. A pagoda. Yeah. Again, I apologize for the vertical <laughs> video. It's so embarrassing, honestly. I just don't know why that happens. I hope that when I come back live again... I can fix this this problem. I'm going to I'm going to watch a YouTube video on how to fix this darn problem. Have a wonderful weekend, all right? And I'll see you later. Thanks again. Bye-bye.